Picasso and Cezanne and Kandinsky and Matisse in the beginning of the 20th century, they didn't turn their back on the past, on the contrary. They were looking at the past, they were looking at Poussin and Velázquez and Raphael for inspiration and as a platform for their new language. And what Wei Ligang is doing, and the best of the other Chinese artists are doing today in ink, is seeing whether they can convert this foundation stone of Chinese civilization into something that's meaningful in order to create their new revolutionary language for today. It's about old and new. There's a huge range of styles that Wei Li Gang uses, but they can broadly be put into two categories. One is pure abstraction, as uh, is evidenced by his gold ground paintings and his line paintings. And the other is works which are more closely related to classical calligraphy, where he includes calligraphic characters, but he distorts these characters in such a way as to make them mean something today. makes them more abstract, many of them are not readable, he introduces color, he breaks the orthodox structures on the page so that they can't be read in, in, in a way that classical Chinese calligraphy can be read. He's honoring the tradition, he's honoring the past, but at the same time he's compelled to break away from it and make a new pictorial language. And so he's making people sit up and say, my goodness, what is this? That's why he's having such an effect today.